Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Anime Health Center. My name is Dr. I and today we are back again to playing some more Genshin Impact. So, uh, hold on, let's see here. We have uh, the Nahida story quest that we, um, or I forgot to do. And, uh, you know what? Let's, let's do it now. So I, you know, while I have time, I mean, you know. Because I feel like One, otherwise two, it's going to be hard to three. do it later. Because school, because school, as usual, as usual. If I sound weird Take it easy. or something, it's because I'm eating nuts right now, okay? Well, also... Don't get used to this, okay? I'm just telling you. Do not hey, get used to me. Isn't that oh, I'm just the same. Don't get used to me. Um, commentary, give like giving commentary to all of these, because um, I most likely won't do in the future unless like I'm free like I'm now. So. Didn't think we'd run into you here. How cute! She just like. Walking around, you know, just I don't know. I find that so cute for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, hey there! It's been a while, hasn't it? What have you two been up to? Like, how crazy would that be? I mean, you just, you know, <clears throat> it's like it's like imagine, you know, since these are our gods, whatever, right? Imagine you just see Jesus just walking down the street, like. Holy! Like, what are you supposed to think? Like, it, it could be the Buddha, right? He just, you know, just walking by or somewhere. You see him walking. That that would be crazy. Like, you'd be like, oh my God, I saw Jesus, or oh my God, I saw Buddha, or or, or I saw mm, some God. You like, you know, that you believe in, right? Like, that is crazy. Like, I would literally go insane. I'm like, what? Um. Helping all kinds of people, I guess. <laughs> Seems like you've been enjoying yourselves. Indeed, I have. How about you? What are you up to now? I'm just looking out for some leads while getting some fresh air. Leads? I noticed that I have some blurry memories after saving Ermin's soul. Oh. I almost feel like there's still something extremely important I need to do. But I can't remember what it is. Hmm? Why is that? It's probably the effect of uh Ermisol. Don't worry, we'll help you remember. Feel free to fill us in. Thank you so much. Since you're willing to help, I have something I'd like to show you. Oh. Ooh, what is that? Is fire inside? It looks like it's filled with some kind of power. I feel like it's about to explode. Mm -hmm. I found it in the sanctuary of Suristana, but I have no recollection of it whatsoever. Oh. It's filled with pure elemental power that is quite similar to mine, but yet it's also a little different. It's very likely that it's connected to my foggy memory, but I can't figure out what it is. Does Paimon always look this stunned? Or maybe curious? Or it's just because her eyes are really big. I don't know. She, she looks like, like, oh my god, wow. <laughs> um, It's mostly likely something that the greater lord Rukidwara left behind. But what's this their foggy memory? Well, what's with her Traveler, foggy memory? Do you have any ideas? Uh... I don't know, but it's very concerning. You know, Nahida, we just happen to be going on an adventure right now. If we find anything, we'll be sure to let you know right away. Mm-hmm. Thanks, you two. I didn't mean to trouble you again. Don't mention it. Besides, it seems you've got a lot on your mind, and we'd like to help. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh my god, is that bongo head? <laughs> Oh, just a random hydro. Oh, never mind. Hey, get out! 
You shouldn't be around here. Hey, be nice, man. Oh, you're so cute. How can you be so offens offensive against such a cute little bongo head? I'm sorry, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Fungi don't usually come near this place. Oh. Last warning. Get out before I kick you out, you hear? Oh. Hang on. I think it's trying to tell us something. But great Dendro Archon, it's a monster. Does that look like a monster? You look more like a monster to me, man. Look how cute this is, thing. This thing is. Please, don't worry. Uh huh. Hmm. I think I understand. Okay, Nahida can speak. Um. Um, mushroom. It seems that it wants us to <laughs> follow it. Okay. You can understand it. Mm hmm. Even though different creatures have varying habits and ways of communicating, the emotions we experience are all the same. I mean, you can you can express so, uh, like something without knowing what they're telling you, right? Unless it's something more complicated, I can you know. Feel its anxiety and fear. It's in dire need of our help. Because you can show off with your body how you feel without telling. Like e everyone knows, like ah oh, ah. Oh. Like if you do, if you you know hunch down and you go like ah oh, ah. Oh, you know people will understand. Like, oh, you're hurt or something. You you like your stomach hurting or what's happening. You know you, you don't have to say I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Help! I need help. They're like, I don't know, I don't understand English, I don't know what this help, help is, you know, so, I don't know, well, I guess that's, guy, that's how I thought about it. But... See? Some of the things is cute too. Bonehead is a really nice fung um, fungus, you know. Hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, let's go take a look. Alright, lead the way, little fungus. It's so cute. Dude! Although they all look about the same, some fungi are friendly, while others are super aggressive and attack anyone they see! It can't be helped. Perhaps in their eyes, humans are like fierce monsters as well. Yeah. After all, Fair. they can't distinguish which human behaviors are hostile or not, and it'd already be too late for them once humans have drawn their weapons. Hence why they tend to strike first, sound? rather than waiting. That's not too different from how humans think sometimes. <laughs> That's what I meant by shared emotions. I mean, humans and animals are. Oh! <gasps> oh no! Oh no! That one looks hurt. Oh no! Fungi. Look at the other fungus. It appears it was in a hurry because of this unconscious fungus. Like they might be family. So maybe this fungus wanted to bring Nahida here to help its family member. That was probably Papa Fungus. Probably. Although fungi are simple creatures, they're very sensitive to elemental power. Maybe it noticed me on my way back and thought I'd be able to help. I'll take a look. I should be able to help if it's just a common illness. Hmm? Oh? What is it, Nahida? Strange. Very strange. What is it? This fungus didn't develop from a spore. It's an elemental life form. Oh. So, it's not like the rest? Alright, okay. Huh? An elemental life form? I feel like that's a, something familiar I've heard before. I don't know if. I think. I feel like I remember Albedo talking about it before when we were in Dragon Spine. When he were talking about um, like the different elemental slimes and whatnot. Right? Like they were created like elemental life forms, you know? Yes. Although the fungi you normally see are capable of using elemental powers, they're merely borrowing elemental power from nature around them. Mm-hmm. As for this fungus, it has elemental power flowing through it. Oh. Definitely not anything like your typical fungus. It's the MC! It's a it's a MC! It's a MC fungus! It's just the main character. 
too special. It only looks like a fungus. Oh, so you're saying it only looks like a fungus? Exactly. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. Oh my god. So this is a first even for Nahida. But that's not all. There's a large void within its elemental power. Of course. The void is stopping the elemental power from flowing normally, which must be why it fainted. No. So do you think it'll wake up if we can fill the void? Yes, and I just so happen to be good at this sort of thing. I'll see what I can do right away. Why wouldn't you just do it before telling us? Like you could just have done it. And then tell us about, oh, how should, uh, you know, it's like, <laughs> this guy in need of emergency, his heart has stopped. Instead of doing the, you know, I know what you call it, um, you know, you, 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 uh, 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 you know, um, like, dude, you, you were just like, oh, how strange, his heart has stopped. And you start to explain, it's like, bro, he's dying, man, he's, he's, he's dying. <laughs> It works. Elemental being floating hydrous fungus? Oh, look how cute. My power was compatible. Looks like everything is fine now. Oh. Lord of Tendro. What? Is it really the Lord of Tendro? Mother Sucker can talk. He speaks. It speaks. Oh, I can't believe the Lord of Tendro saved me. Thank you, as well as the stranger and creature next to you. Oh, they are not. Oh, I, I thought they were family, yo. Okay, never mind. She, it, it's just. It sounds like a girl. I don't know why. Maybe it's a guy. I don't. Know. It can talk. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect such a strange creature to make a sound like that. <laughs> Seems I'm just as shocked as you are. How funny. What? Paimon can talk. Uh, Paimon isn't a strange creature. Paimon's just Paimon. I mean, Paimon look just look like um a floating a floating child. <laughs> I know. Like when people say, I I, I wonder how people see Paimon. Like, cause she has the characteristics. Uh, okay, I can look. I can't bend the word in my tongue. Okay, characteristics. Okay, whatever. Of like human characters, you know. So if you would see like that, are we just seeing a flying baby, or oh, flying baby, a flying child, you know? But I don't know. Maybe other people in Tevat see her differently than uh, we do. I don't know, cause I mean, she looks like a human, you know. She doesn't look like I wouldn't say creature when they describe Paimon, right? I wish just like, oh, it's a flying child. <laughs> Hello, Paimon. I am not yet able to evaluate an organism's intelligence from its appearance. I will only know you are able to speak once you have spoken. Ah. Oh. oh, uh, well, no need to take it seriously. It's no big deal. But does Paimon really look so dumb that people might think Paimon doesn't know how to talk? Um, <clears throat> I mean... I wouldn't assume so. Um, uh, I I would just assume you would just talk like a child, uh, because you know you look like a child. So, uh, there's no need to start worrying about that all of a sudden. You must understand, Paimon. A mouth is used for eating, breathing, and other functions that are more important than speaking. True. So a creature may not speak even if it has a mouth. I've never seen a creature like you before, so I dared not make the assumption that you could speak. Even if you do possess a number of human traits, it is still very common for creatures to have similar external forms but completely different interiors, just like fungi and slimes. Oh, I mean, yeah, Did okay. Did these fungus study at the academia? It seems even more talkative than Paimon. Paimon, what's your real form, huh? What's your real form? Is this just like some kind of disguise, huh? You're not a fungus. 
Our exciting. little Paimon. That's correct. This might be surprising to you, and I'm sure that you must have questions. Let's find somewhere else to talk. <laughs> what if Paimon is like, actually, I'm also an Archon. <laughs> It might startle my fellow family members if I speak too much using this strange voice. Me, 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 me. Oh, so cute. It says that it's very thankful for your help. Do I want the uh, I want the bongo head? Um, I know it's not its name, but you know, I want a plushie, like a yeah, a cute plushie. Dude, I'm a danger to myself, man. I love cute things. It's very dangerous for me, man. I was confident that I knew of all the creatures into that. Even if there are ones I've never seen with my own eyes, I thought I possessed all the relevant knowledge about them. But the plushies are so expensive, especially big fluffy ones, man. They're so expensive, yo. Like, all my money would go to that, but, like, it's so expensive! And I don't really do anything with them, they would just stand- they would just be there and cute. And that's enough for me, like, I can see it, like, I put it on the bed, and I can see it. However, that will make me enough happy. even if I were to lay out the traits happy of all me. elemental life forms, you don't seem to match any of them. What are you? And where did you come from? Where did you come from? I come from an ancient race. We have existed for a very long time, possibly longer than any records in existence. Oh, looks cute. Hmm. Looks cute. I My like home it. was filled with flowing water and great mountains. Lush grass covered the land, and my family and I lived in bliss and happiness. Mm -hmm. Until the apocalypse came and changed my home forever. Is that uh, perhaps something that happened maybe 500 years ago? Just asking for a friend. Just a wanna know. horrifying power consumed all there was. The seeds of catastrophe nested and grew inside of us, twisting and warping us, causing us to lose control. Oh. Hmm. We were victims of the apocalypse, yet in time, we also became the apocalypse itself. The apocalypse? I'm not sure what it means either. It sounds like some kind of old fable. It's a long and complicated story. It will take me some time to explain it clearly. Don't worry, we'll listen. Please continue. I was lucky and managed to survive. Afterward, I left with some of my family and came to Sumeru to search for a way to rescue my homeland. We came in contact with many species and learned from their cultures and knowledge, hoping to understand the truth behind the apocalypse. I just wanted to see the, um, the difference. I, I love to do that sometimes. We later found out that humans know the power of the apocalypse and refer to it as forbidden knowledge. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, lore, beep, 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 lore, hello, forbidden knowledge, we heard about that before. Your home was destroyed by forbidden knowledge? Does that mean you're from the desert? It said that they are looking for a way to save their homeland, but the catastrophe of the desert should have ended a long time ago. The Lord of Dendro is correct. We are not from the desert. I would very much like to tell you the location of my homeland, but unfortunately, I've forgotten. Oh, well. That may sound a little odd, as it is very important to both me and my family. Yes, how could you forget? Well, as a great man once said, or I remember who said it to me, but I've learned it now, okay? If you forgot something, it was never important to begin with because something that's that important that you would actually consider important would you would not forget it so when you're gonna tell your friend something and you forget it i know it doesn't all like it doesn't really really make sense because i mean you know, you know that's not how memory works i mean it's just like 
and I, I I follow it. So always when I say something, and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot what to say, and I was like, you know what? Since I forgot it, it was probably not even important. So whatever, I just skip it. And usually when I remember, it's not that important anyways. Like it, it, sometimes it was, but it's not not I a big deal. I am a life form that was contaminated by the apocalypse. A part of my knowledge and memory was taken <sighs> away as the contamination inside of me was purged. Ah, I get it now. So the void of elemental power was left behind from when the forbidden knowledge was purged. Mm. I'm sorry. I hadn't considered that kind of possibility. That's okay. Lord of Dendro, there is no need to apologize. Without your help, I would have lost more than just my knowledge and memory. And not only did you save me, but you've also already rid the world of the remaining forbidden knowledge, right? Right? That's right. The forbidden knowledge is no more, and your homeland should be safe now. My home should be safe now. We can go home. For the longest time, this moment has only seemed like a dream. I never knew it would become a reality so quickly. I wonder if we get an achievement from this. Probably do. Like at the end, it may be an achievement like help help the this uh, elemental being. I was unable to fulfill our calling. Get home or something. I never found a way to save my homeland, and I have even forgotten where it is. <laughs> It's not your fault. You've already done everything you can. Every species paid a grave price in the fight against forbidden knowledge. This is not a responsibility you should carry on your own. It's been a little bit long time. I don't even remember really how that even came, you know, to be the 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 knowledge where the forbidden knowledge where is it like some kind of something from outer space. I don't know. You mentioned that there were other survivors besides yourself. I don't remember, sorry. Where are <laughs> they? Maybe they'll remember. The apocalypse put us through immense pain. Many of my family members have already met their end. I'm not sure who else is still alive. Oh, damn. Don't worry, I should be able to find them. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. I'll leave the rainforest to the Aranara. And as for the city, there are a few nice kids that should be willing to help. As much as I hate the Aranara quest line and the whole. Uh, 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 I don't want to talk about it. Ugh. That's like, give me PTSD, I swear to God. Whew. But still, you know, you know what? I actually really like the Aranara. I really oh, like yeah. them. Yeah, they'll give us a hand. Aranara. Give me a moment. I'll contact them right now. Did it work? Did it work? Did it work? That should do it. Nope. It may take some time to find them, so let's wait for a bit. Thank you, Lord of Dendro. We all believe that you will keep your promises. The moment I saw you when I awoke, I had a feeling you were here because of the agreement. Hmm? Agreement? What agreement? You might not remember, but this is a prophecy that we deeply believe in. That the Lord of Dendro will bring us home once the catastrophe comes to an end. Ah, oh, I see. I... I'm sorry. There are also some blurry segments in my memory as well. But I'm very concerned about your homeland. This is something I should help with. It's really no trouble to me at all. Would you all be willing to come with me somewhere as we wait? The more if there's food there, I, I, I mean, yeah, me, sure. The better. Dude, if we like uh, some good fruits. Oh. Ah, oh, man, I want to eat some nice sweet fruits, man. Oh, my God. But didn't you say that you <clears throat> don't know where they are? Yes, but I know their end. I 
will explain it to you along the way. I wonder which which one is your guys' favorite. The homecoming, like if if you have to choose, like um between okay, ah uh, but you need to you know if it's like um um would you rather like um uh, never eat candy again or never eat fruit again? Which one would you pick? Thank you. 